Well, good Saturday to everybody. This is October the 22nd, and we are here at Mount Jefferson State Park, located in beautiful Ash County, North Carolina. Now, Ash County is located in the far northwest corner of North Carolina. It has Virginia bordering to the north and Tennessee bordering to the west, so this is as far northwest of North Carolina as you can go. Uh, and we're here at Mount Jefferson State Park. Now, um, the towns of Jefferson and West Jefferson basically share this mountain. One's on one side of it, one's on the other side of it. And um, we're, we come up here every year on the weekend after the 16th because this is where my wife's father is from. And we always come up and uh, visit uh, his grave. Um, he was, he's buried up here. He's from up here. He passed away 12 years ago on October 16th. So we always come up here every year to visit. And we're going to do something different today. We're going to check out Mount Jefferson State Park. We've never been up to the top. We've just driven by it. So we're going to go up to the top today and see what it looks like. So go with us. If you visit Mount Jefferson State Park, I want to make you aware that there's a trail right behind the sign that we just did our intro from called Mountain Ridge Trail. And again, we're not familiar with this park, but our understanding is that you can hike to the top from this trail. It's a two mile loop. Uh, we're not going to do that today for time's sake. Even though we love to hike, we're going to go ahead and drive up as far as we can to the summit. The speed limit throughout the park is 25 miles an hour right here across the road. From the park is park office and information uh, we have not gone inside I'm assuming you can uh, go in there and find out about the mountain and um, some of the things you can see here this is the building but, well sorry to say we're not going to go in but I think she's headed over there so we're going to go on up to the summit of Mount Jefferson State Park it looks like the park office may be closed but they do have an informational sign out here that tells you a little bit about it So just within this little state park, there are over 750 types of uh, plant life. Apparently there's a couple of trails. There's a summit trail. It's 0.3 miles strenuous. And that goes all the way to the top. And the top of the mountain is 4,683 feet above sea level. Then there's a rhododendron trail. That's a more moderate trail. And I guess that one kind of goes across the top of the ridge. So these are some of the trails. We're, for time's sake, we're not going to hike today unless we just drive as far as we can and have to uh, hike the rest of the way. Oh yeah, I've, I've read about sun, or I've seen videos on Sunset Overlook. Apparently, a lot of people do come up here for Sunset. Right here is yes, the Overlook. Right here is the emergency information. Sorry about the glare. Here are the rules and regulations. Don't litter. It should go for anywhere. Uh, the removal. Don't take um, plants, animals, rocks. We, we do have some over here that tends to like to take rocks from places. So we kind of had to cut back on that since the <laughs> parks don't really want you doing that. So now what we've got her doing, when we go to the beach, she has to collect a little bit of sand off the beach. She buys her these little bottles uh, with the name of the beach on them. And she well, the collects well, the you rocks. Can, since you can do that. But the rocks, you see, like when we go on a hike, wherever we hiked, I would pick up the rock, put the, the name of the mountain we climbed, and the date. So that way I'd have a little... Well, if everybody did that, there wouldn't be any rocks. <laughs> so she's, she has reformed in that area. Here's a map of Mount Jefferson State Park. Again, I'm sorry for the glare. That's just the angle of the sun right now. Not much I can do about it. All right, so over here. Now, we're at an elevation of over 3,000 feet. The fall color has pretty much peaked and come and gone, but there's still some nice color in spots up here. Uh, I think last weekend was the main color area in most places in North Carolina, but there's still some left. So we're going to ride on up to Mount Jefferson. We do have a very... Nice clear day. No, I don't see a cloud in the sky. 
so we're gonna drive up. All right, here's just driving up the road into Mount Jefferson State Park. Like I say, this is a first time visit for us. Never, never been up the mountain before, just observed it from the towns. Okay, we've come to the first overlook on the road up Mount Jefferson, and um, this tells you uh, what you're looking at exactly. Starting from the left, Mulatto Mountain, which I've never heard of in my life. Grandfather Mountain, we've been up there many times. Mile High Swinging Bridge, I'll show you that here in just a moment. Laurel Mountain, Bald Mountain, Bluff Range, then one just called the Peak. I guess that's the yeah, high point of Ash County. And Paddy Mountain, Three Top. And over here to the right, you've got where Ash County borders Tennessee and Virginia. So let me show you a little bit of this view here. Very nice. Out there in the distance, if you can see that mountain out in the distance, it kind of looks like the profile of an old man. Uh, asleep, that is Grandfather Mountain, named for that reason. I know I'm going right into the sun here. I hope that's focusing in good. Very nice views from up here, and down there is the town of West Jefferson. back over there you have the border of North Carolina, Virginia, and Tennessee. And just by way of information that first overlook is Sunset Overlook. So if I had to guess I guess that's where you come to watch the sunset. I would say so. They also have a Sunrise Overlook and a Jefferson Overlook. Like I say that's the town of West Jefferson. So I'm guessing the Jefferson Overlook will be showing us the other town just Jefferson. So let's head on up and see it. All right, just up the road from the Sunset Overlook, not even maybe a, what, a quarter of a mile if that, is the Sunrise Overlook. And the view from this one is nice. It's a little bit more limited. Um, I think we're looking straight out of the Blue Ridge Parkway out there. And as you can see, the color is fading. It's turning into like a brownish orange, like a copper color almost. So that signifies that fall is coming to an end up here. By the way, some of the mountains had snow this past week. I don't know if they got any up here, but I know in the Smokies they did, and around Mount Mitchell they did. So uh, winter has already started in the high country. It doesn't feel like winter today. It's very mild up here today, probably in the 60s easily. Yeah, it's I, had very to take, comfortable. I just took my final shirt off. I'm in a t-shirt. Now here at the Sunrise Overlook, it looks like there are four picnic tables and a dumpster. If you want to bring a picnic lunch, there's a place to do it. All right, let's ride on. Okay, again, another quarter of a mile or so, and we come to the third overlook, the Jefferson Overlook. Now, this overlook has a warning. You should be aware of danger, cliff, steep slopes, and there's a fence to protect you from falling off. Right, now we're looking down on the town of Jefferson and areas beyond. This is probably the best overlook yet. Just for this glare. I hope you can read this, but this is telling you what you're seeing to the north. You are looking at mainly uh, Virginia peaks here, at least in the background. White Top is in Virginia. Mount Rogers is actually the highest point in Virginia. And Phoenix Mountain, that's in North Carolina. Let me try to get out of this. There we go. 
Now it says, again, let me try to get y'all I apologize for how to do this. I, I'm trying to stand it away they can read this. I'm casting a shadow all over it. Elisha Mitchell climbed Mount Jefferson. I didn't know that. He's actually the one who established that Mount Mitchell in North Carolina was the highest point east of the Mississippi. And it tells you a little about the main mountains that you can see from here. But again, I think this is the best overlook of the three so far. I don't know. And it's a straight drop down. That makes my stomach hurt when I realize how. It really uh, is, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try not to drop my camera. Don't nudge me here. But that's just a sheer drop off, folks. Once you look down into the valley, you can see there's still some color left on the trees, but it's fading quickly. Up here, no such thing. And I hope y'all are not hearing that dog. Let their dog bark like that. That would be us. This is where you got to be careful. <laughs> you can actually see it all from up here. You can even see from the stuff from the sunset over look back over at Grandfather Mountain. Folks, I'm going to put this as blunt as I can. If you don't want to die, don't go any closer to this edge than I am because that is a drop. There is no protective fence right here. I wish there was, but there's not. That is a sheer drop off into that valley. Very nice overlook. Very nice view. Alright, I just noticed that there's also a geological survey marker up here on Mount Jefferson. Huh. I've been seeing a lot of those lately. Here's a little bit of information on what to expect if you come here in the wintertime. Winters in the mountains can be harsh, harsh and treacherous, that is true. The maximum elevation of 4,683 feet. Mount Jefferson is accustomed to the mountain winters. This will be a pretty view in the wintertime. This is a pretty curvy road going up through here, so you want to be careful. I don't know what this pull-off is here. Is this the end? It could be. I'm not sure if we reached the summit or not. This was kind of a spur-of-the-moment decision to come up here, so didn't really do a lot of research into it. So we may be at the summit. So. Yeah, I think this is. Okay. I hope this gentleman doesn't mind, whoever this truck owns too, but I like this truck. I really like it. It's an old Chevrolet. I like the color of that. And a spare tire. Now that's a spare tire right there. For one thing, it's a real tire, not a little donut. It's easy to get to when you need it. And that looks sharp, in my opinion. It is. Look at the rearview mirror. Oh yeah. 
See that little rear view mirror there? And step over here out the side. It says Harley Davidson on the back of it. If he don't mind, that's a sharp looking truck right there. Somebody help me with the year on that. I'm gonna say 60 something, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe late 50s. Okay, so here at the end of the road, here at the summit, there's a pretty extensive picnic area, maybe 15, 20 table. Uh, got grills. I guess. Looks like maybe one shared grill for every three tables or something. But there's several grills through here. If you want to come have a cookout or picnic. Um, handicap accessible here. Be aware the park does close at sunset. So there are restrooms. There's a little pavilion here. Looks like they're having some kind of a reunion or something or gathering. Yeah, big old grill there. I'm, I'm guessing that may be something you have to reserve or get a permit for. A uh, little picnic area right here if you don't mind being on the edge of the mountain. Step over here and look at that one. Get your grill right here, the table right here, and you drop off right behind you. Okay, we thought we were at the summit at the picnic area, but we're not. It's a another 0.3 mile walk up this path here to the actual pinnacle. So we're going to do that. There's also another hike. It's 1.1 miles uh, round trip called the Rhododendron Trail. We're not going to do that. Uh, I think it basically just goes across the top of the summit. So as long as I can get to the high high part, I'm good. It is pet friendly. Okay, we should be getting pretty close to the summit now. Trail starting to moderate out a little bit. The little point three hike was rated as moderately strenuous. I'd say that's about right. My heart's pumping. I'm not exhausted. Didn't have to stop, but kind of glad to catch my breath. So I'd say moderately strenuous is about right. So right here we come to a junction. To the right is the rhododendron trail. Which we're not going to do. Is that loser a rock? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's something called Luther Rock. There's a bench if you're tired. And to the left, it looks like the actual summit is dominated by a large tower up here. So. Alright, and this is the beauty that you find at the summit of Mount Jefferson. I hope there's a view after doing this. I'm gonna find out. Right now, we can't see much of anything just through the trees. If, if the leaves were on the trees, you wouldn't see anything right now. All right, we apparently have reached the summit. So, these weather sensors, you're not supposed to touch them. The best way to get people to touch them is to tell people not to touch them. Don't touch it. Oh get your hand off of it. <laughs> no, she don't. She's not. All the way up. See you See ya. For all of you that like are joking around, that was a joke for those of you that don't. Well, oh well. She's not touching it. No, I'm not touching it. So. I'd be afraid to touch it. Yeah, I know. It measures wind speed, apparently, wind direction. Huh. Apparently, the overlook area is very small up here. A little rhododendron here. Plenty of rocks to sit on. So, the overlook isn't much. I'm gonna go down there as soon as they're done. Okay, and this is the view from the summit right here. It's a very small little area, and it's basically 
looking back down on the town of Jefferson and up towards Virginia. Uh, the same view that we got from the uh, Jefferson Overlook. Actually, the view from the Jefferson Overlook was a lot more expansive than this is, but I do see a little different angle of Mount Rogers, Highest Point, Virginia. That will be center of your screen, just to the left of that twig. That is the highest point in the state of Virginia at 5,729 feet. And then White Top Mountain over there. And just like everywhere else we were at last weekend, the gnats are everywhere up here. Now, I will say this would be very pretty to come during the peak of fall. The way the colors happened this year, they were early. Uh, any other year, the 22nd would be a great time to be up here in the fall. But as you can see, the colors are uh, fading now. So this will probably be the last weekend of color, um, fall color we bring you, at least from the mountains. It's just starting to come in down at our house. So I'm going to let my lovely wife go over here and see the view. And I will watch the dogs. Okay, everybody, we're coming to you now to do our closeout from the summit of Mount Jefferson State Park here in Ashe County, North Carolina. Uh, as I said before, this is the most northwestern part of North Carolina you can go to. You border both Virginia to the north and Tennessee to the west. Um, so this is our first time coming to Mount Jefferson State Park. We come to this area once a year at least, but just have not ever been up here. So uh, we're going to give you our impressions of it, and Shaughnessy, why don't you go first? Well, I thought it was really nice. Um, the drive up here, I mean, it was easy. Um, you go through the woods, you got a lot of um, views through the woods. There's those three overlooks. The West Jefferson overlook was my favorite because I think it was the most expansive. The other ones were very nice. Uh, Jefferson overlook. What did I say? West Jefferson. Oh. <laughs> I think. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe but, wrong. But yeah, that one was like the best one because it had the most expensive view. Um, do have to be careful because you are up high and right on a drop off. Um, and then a lot of picnic tables, so it's a good place to come with your family. Um, seen some families up here hiking with their kids. It's not anything super hard or anything either. And then there's picnic tables, so you can come have a picnic as well. So, I mean, yeah, I'm glad we came. I think it's nice. Okay. I, w I would pretty much agree with everything. Uh, basically, on the drive up here, there's three overlooks. There's the first one you come to is the sunrise overlook and it basically you're looking back towards the town of West Jefferson in the valley and uh, Grandfather Mountain and uh, mountains to the west. Uh, then you come to the sunrise overlook and you're looking back towards the east and then you come to the Jefferson overlook and really it's a combination of both of the first two. You can see everything from that you see from the sunrise and from the sunset. So I like it because you, you get a very expansive view. That's probably the best, well, there's no probably, that is it the is. best overlook of the three. Mm -hmm. uh, that's also the most treacherous because you do have that rock uh, area that you saw earlier and you can fall yeah. to your death. In fact, as we were leaving, a woman was yelling at her son because <laughs> he had slick boots on. He was uh, a teenage boy thinking, yeah, I'll just get right it, here. You know, thought he was invincible, but one, one wrong move and he would have fallen and it would have been bad. So uh, but as far as I know, he didn't. So, yeah, uh, as far as the park itself, now we got to the top where you saw the large parking lot and the picnic areas. If you want to do, here's what I would say about doing the hike on up to the summit. It's short. It's 0.3 miles. It's, it's a little steep. It's nothing you can't handle if you're in moderately good shape. Uh, there's also a rhododendron trail. It's a 1.1 mile loop. We're not going to do that one. We just really wanted to say we summited the mountain. And that's only 0.3 miles from the picnic area. Now, my advice on that is if you're coming to do it to get a better view than you've had, don't even waste your time because there's very little view up there. There's one little open area that we showed you, and that's it. Uh, and if it wasn't fall with the leaves off of it, If it wasn't fall see. with the leaves off, you wouldn't even get that much. But you can basically see the highest two points in Virginia from there and the town of Jefferson. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you think you're going to get a better view from the top, you're not. Your best view is at the Jefferson Overlook. Mm -hmm. If you just like to walk in the woods or you just want to enjoy nature, it's very quiet. I hear bird chirping now. Um, if you just like the solitude of walking in the woods, do it. Uh, it's a nice little walk. Uh, I think, like she said, if we were here a week ago when the fall colors were something else, then this would be outstanding scenery. Mm -hmm. I might do it one more time if we happen to get here at the peak next year. I may do it this one more time just so I can say I've seen it then. And there will be a part two of this if we do that. Is it something I would do every year? Probably not. Is it something I would drive 50 miles from my house to come do just to do this? No. But if I was already in the area, yeah, it's 
It's a great place to come have a picnic, a family outing, uh, do a little walking. Um, so yeah, I would I would recommend it. Say it's worth seeing. Mount Jefferson State Park, Ash County, North Carolina. Uh, you got anything else to add? No, nothing else to add. All right. If y'all enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and find us on Facebook. And we appreciate it. And thank you. And have a blessed day.